day three of this Druidic convention. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, it's actually pretty fun. Yeah, I'm just walking through the sky bridge. The end is in sight. The worst is behind us. And now we have his sunshine and rainbows to look forward to. That's a lovely sky bridge that's going to take us all the way back to the wherever everybody is. I really don't know right now. But that's alright because I'm sure I'll find something to do. Good morning. morning. I first of all want to tell you how much I absolutely love that you guys are here for a couple of reasons. Number one, because it's early Sunday morning. <laughs> And I like the people who got guys are like, already. What am I awake for right now? <laughs> or why didn't I go to bed at all last night? <laughs> um, and secondly, because of all the things that I do, um, whether it be voice acting or music or whatever, all of those things are fun and they're great. But this is probably, in my opinion, the most significant thing that I can share. Uh, this is something that I hope will far outlast me. And so um, I'm very, very, very grateful and privileged to be able to talk with you guys about these things. And I love you for being here. Let me just say something right off the bat. It's not a church service. It's a place where it's just an opportunity to get together and share thoughts on God. Okay? Uh, we're not going to have a choir. <laughs> we're not going to pass any offering plate. <laughs> like, I've just got my spell all in one in the dealer room. <laughs> Somebody's going to put a little, a little gun in the bottle and say, let's go right up. <laughs> but, you know, God says in His Word that where two or three are gathered together, there I am. It doesn't matter whether there's stained glass around us. It makes no difference to God whether you're wearing a suit jacket or a dress. It has nothing to do with whether there's an organ nearby. He doesn't care about those things that people tend to make so important about religion. He cares about you. Plain and simple. Just you. Not all the songs and dances. Not all the performance, not a list of do's and don'ts, not how short you wear your hair, not whether you like to wear black, not whether you like anime, none of it. He just loves you. But there are so many voices around us that tell us that God's love for you is based upon your performance, what you do or don't do. And that much like people, <laughs> Right? Just like us, that there's this conditional element to that. And that you've got to do a certain list of things. And you've got to perform a certain way. And you have to look a certain way. And you have to avoid certain things. You have to cut your hair a certain way. You certainly can't color it purple. And, you know, all of these things that you have to do to make yourself good enough and to, 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 to get on God's good side. My message to you today is, you're already there. You're already on God's good side. How many people, when they fill out an application, write that they're Catholic because that's what their family is. And if you were to sit them down and say, tell me all the tenets of Catholicism, they wouldn't know. They know nothing about Catholicism. They just think they're Catholic because their parents were Catholic. My grandparents were Methodist. So if I've got to put something down, I write Methodist. You know what I'm saying? It's always it's just kind of what they've always heard, but there was there's never there's not a real connection to it. And that was the same with me. I I grew up in it, so I just assumed that I was in. Um, and so as as uh, our uh, the youth the youth uh, leader was teaching, I, I I remember feeling really convicted. I remember hearing that little voice <laughs> inside going, Hey man, uh, you hearing this? He's talking to you, buddy. You were born into this. You think because you're Pastor Nitz's grandson that you're in the club and you have never, ever, ever 
sat down and consciously made the decision to accept God's free gift and, and start that relationship yourself. Never done it. And I, it really struck me. It really hit me. It was like, that's right, I, I, I really have that now. That was when I made the decision to accept Christ for myself. Accept the gift. Now, again, I'm not asking you guys to prick your fingers. I'm not asking you to drink any Kool-Aid. I'm not, I'm, I'm not forcing anything. I'm sharing my story with you. Do you, do you hear me? I'm not, I'm not forcing you or, or trying to hypnotize you or trick you into anything. I'm sharing my journey. I'm sharing what I have come to believe. You'd be in your living room and you have your little coffee table there and your little boys, babies, holding on to the edge of the coffee table with their little wiggly legs and they've been crawling all this time but they, they, they prop themselves up and they pull themselves up and they're standing there trying to stand and you would get about 10 feet away and you'd kneel down and you'd go, come here, come you can walk to me, yes you can. Come here, baby. Come here, my boy. My boy. Come here. Come to daddy. And they would let go. Coffee table, right? <laughs> and they'd start walking to their dad. Oh! And they would fall, right? Did you by any chance say, oh, come on! Isn't that so cool? 
me a jet location. Hey, look at that. A map will pull up. It'll show you where you are. Like that. You got instructions down here, for example. Like you can get flight info. To anywhere. Look at that. That is so cool. Wouldn't it be so awesome to have that? I mean, if I want to go to the British Air and look at all this. Look at that. I mean, that's closer to my home, so let's see. It's on site. Isn't it so awesome? Wouldn't you like to have one of these in your house? Or school or something like that? I mean, I would. Hanging around here at the convention with nobody important around. Just kind of sitting here. Oh, hey! Do I know you? God, I knew that old draw your thing was, you draw yourself thing was a great idea. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, no. You got any advice for anyone that's like our last day here? Buy all the shit that you didn't buy the other day, and then don't get fucked on, uh, don't get fucked on parking like I did. Oh, God. That's right. $13 to park for overnight, don't do that. Just like park on the sidewalk or oh, something like that. $13 I didn't mind. The problem was that it's $13 a day. Oh, that too. Right. You know, if you're gonna screw me like that, at least kiss me. <laughs> And this has been Anime. <laughs>